wikiprocedure.com welcomes you for another session on how to apply to register a firm or a company in Tamil Nadu. The link provided below here will help you with reaching our site wikiprocedure.com and the respective page Tamil Nadu register a firm or a company. Here we have provided the procedures required documents, office locations and contacts, eligibility, processing time, fees, validity and also the instructions which will be useful for an applicant to complete these procedures here uh, we are in this video we are going to use few websites which are useful for an applicant to complete this uh, procedure at ease and we have provided those uh, website as a link in our wikiprocedure.com website and respective pages as link uh, for your convenience let us get into the presentation list of items covered in this session need to register a firm or a company documents required how to apply eligibility validity online resources fees processing time offices and contacts other information need to register a firm or a company first of all why a person has to register a firm or a company as uh, the valid uh, information which one has to know so a firm which a person wanted to operate in uh, with the government restrictions or the principles one has to register if it is a private limited company with minimum two uh, stakeholders or directors so this registration of companies will help the government to regulate or to uh, abide rules on time to time for example if there is a uh, water purification or packaging company and the government is uh, uh, taking some initiative in view of uh, protecting their consumers their general publics they can collectively call those uh, companies which are registered for that purpose so registration means for the purpose of which the company is registered a trading company an enterprising company a construction company or few examples which will dis uh, distinguish between the operations methodology so private limited company is the most prevalent and popular type of corporate legal entity in india to register a private limited company a minimum of two shareholders and two directors are required foreign nationals corporate entities or nris are allowed to be directors and or shareholders of a company with the foreign direct investment fdi making it the preferred choice of entity for foreign promoters the companies act 1956 sets some rules for the establishment of both public and private companies in india any business can be registered with the government in order to get contract work from the government and other bodies where a registered company is entitled to do subcontract or contract work so the regulations will uh, give priority for the registered company so whenever you put a, um, a bid to get a contract your registration stands first valid uh, for the entry registration of company will help in curbing formation of another company in the same name exactly this registration will help government to collect tax from the right owner also in case of penalizing the registration helps in identifying the right person documents required pan card issued by the income tax department as an identity proof one address proof two passport size photograph document evidence evidencing payment of fees memorandum of article of association meaning the companies involved in what kind of uh, uh, transaction copy of agreement if any which the proposed company wishes to enter into with any individual or appointment as its managing or bottom director or manager form 18 form 32 except for section 25 company form 29 only in case of public companies power of attorney from subscribers letter from registrar of companies making names available because the listed name or the selected name should not be the name which is already registered no objection letter from the directors or the promoters A requisite fees either in cash or demand draft other card how to apply 
company or firm registration can be initiated with the help of a chartered accountant so CAs chartered accountants are the uh, main person who will be helpful in registering a company because of the um, methodologies and some principle which has to be followed as per the norms and updated government GPOs. In registering the companies one has to make sure that the name proposed has not already been used or applied for registration because a name which is selected by someone else can't be registered in your name. Digital signature certificate for the director of the proposed firm has to be acquired. Then acquire the director identification number so that then the, the, the uh, digital signature are very important for this procedure. Filing an e form or new user registration. Finally, incorporation of the company is done and the applicant will get a MOU booklet and certificate uh, intimating the, num the name of the company uh, registered by date and the authority who underwent uh, who undersigned those things will be there so the MOA will be the booklet which uh, gives detail about the business the modality the persons involved in it and what is the uh, shareholding uh, capacity of each one Eligibility, you are eligible to register a firm or company in India if you are a person of Indian origin or an NRI, non-resident Indian, PIO, person of Indian origin, OCI, Overseas Citizenship, India. Validity, the approved company name should be submitted before incorporation or within six months of the name being made available. So one you, once you choose the name or select the name, the name will be sealed or selected for six months. So within the six months, you have to finish this procedure. The valid registration of a firm is valid forever until the government has any changes to incorporate online resources. Link for forms as shown below will be helpful for a person to know the forms and download it for details mcagovernment.in. I will show those sites which are uh, very much useful. This is the form 18 PDF. You can download and fill it and uh, have information from form number 32 also. This is another PDF. And Ministry of Corporate Affairs will give you updated GVOs for different sectors which will be useful for an applicant to understand before applying for this procedure. Fees. In the case of a private limited or a public company, the government fee is based upon the authorized or nominal capital of the company. So how much is going to show as the capital from that the fees will be um, calculated. Fee structure is provided by the government in this site mcagov.in. I will show you that site also just now I have shown you. So this is the site where you can get further information. Processing time after obtaining the name approval, it normally takes approximately two to three weeks to incorporate a company depending on where the company is registered. One has to follow his uh, uh, chartered accountant uh, office uh, in order to uh, get information or get feedback or any changes he has to provide or any details he has to provide. So keep in touch with them till you get this uh, certificate. Offices and contacts, information and facilitation center, carriage number 14, A Wing, Sastri Bhavan, Rajendra Prasad Road, New Delhi. Rest of companies, Hadas Road, Chennai is the Chennai branch office. And the ministry registration of companies is the site link which is provided below will help you in reaching this site where you will get other information regarding their contact address and the communicatable persons. All the information provided here in these uh, websites are all useful for completing the procedures. So we thought of uh, providing these website as link in appropriate places to save your time. Other information, partnerships in India, firm in India are governed by the Indian Partnership Act 1932. Partnership Act 1932 does not provide for compulsory registration of firms. It is optional for partners to set the firm registered and there are no penalties for non-registration. So for registering the firm, you need to follow these uh, instructions and also should be careful in choosing the chartered accountants. Thanks once again for visiting wikiprocedure.com to know how to apply or to register a firm or a company in Tamil Nadu. Thank you.